We're joined now by Ms. Chang Hua Wu in Beijing. She's a chairperson of the China Redesign Hub, a startup to advance sustainable development. She was also the Greater China Director of the Climate Group. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. You know, the UN Secretary General told an ocean conference happening right now in New York City that the world's seas are under threat like never before. It's hoped that this conference will be a game changer. So how important is this gathering? It is very critical. Uh, one, of the four, one of the 17 sustainable development goals under the auspice of the UN uh, is about ocean. And we all know the oceans today are uh, suffering from severe environmental pollution and damages. Uh, countries, particularly for countries with long coastal lines, long coastal regions, we have somehow taken immediate actions not only to uh, prevent dumping garbage to the ocean, but in the meantime, actually, to take more aggressive uh, efforts to save the lives under the water. If you look at the world around today, ocean biodiversity has been under tremendous threat, and uh, uh, two-thirds of the globe actually is covered by water, by ocean. Uh, so without a healthy uh, ocean uh, environment and human beings' sustainability and the future is under uh, threat as well. And this week, uh, China is hosting the second Ocean Philanthropy Forum, the purpose to stress the importance to, of educating the community. So what can the average person do to help clean the world's oceans? Uh, everyone has a role to play. There's no doubt about it. If you look at the garbage under the water uh, uh, in the oceans today, and we have the plastics, all kinds of garbages, and the human beings are literally have to take responsibility for discharging those contaminants or pollutants. In the meantime, actually, uh, uh, oceans biodiversity, fish, particular fish, uh, has been a very important part of the food chain. So as every individual consumer, we have to be really aware of the challenges that we are facing today in our oceans. In the meantime, take immediate actions, for instance, sorting garbages and uh, make sure the cities, the regions you live in do not dump garbage actually into the ocean. And we need to take care of ourselves, take care of the garbage waste and we sort of uh, produce every day. Uh, in the meantime, raising awareness, taking actions, even donations, uh, so that ocean biodiversity, wildlife will be very well protected. We know that China has made several commitments to sustainable development, including reducing marine pollution and protecting uh, the marine ecosystems by the target years of 2020 and 2025. How realistic are these goals? Uh, I think uh, on one side, it definitely is realistic. It's ambitious, but it should be realistic. But by saying that, I do know it's challenging. Challenging meaning we're literally running against the time. We set the goals and targets on the table, but we need actions. And uh, on one side, it's encouraging to see the laws, regulations, and policy are gradually being put together. In the meantime, actually, uh, national level, local level, business community, in the cities, regions, individual consumers have to take immediate actions. Otherwise, the, the Goals and objectives on the table cannot possibly be delivered in a time in a time a timely manner. All right, Changhua in Beijing. Thank you for your time. We appreciate your insight.